great guest that Doug Peck um, found, <laughs> and that has information just that every single every single person uh, who is is in the kind of Social Security, Medicare, trying to figure out, you really need to know this stuff, Doug. Yeah. Yes, and this is Carolyn McLeod. She's the Shine Counselor for the uh, South Borough Council on Aging, and she's the one that can help you figure out wh what Medicare plans uh, you need to get given your very particular circumstances. And how in the world and, it works. And, and how it works, <laughs> because it works. A, it's, it's very complicated anyway, and then B, they change things every year. So she keeps up with it. Shine, I, shine, shine counselors are volunteers but they're incredibly dedicated because they need to go to classes every year to keep up with all the Medicare changes. So it's a really big effort. Uh, so I, you know, that's one reason I wanted her here because people, it's just so necessary for people to understand what's going on in their insurance world. So Carolyn, tell well, us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, thank I was you going to say much. quick backstory <laughs> yeah. first, which was really interesting. All right. So beforehand. years ago, I got an associate's degree in gerontology. I was going to get into um, nursing home administration, but then we moved and um, they didn't have a program similar in the college where we moved. So I ended up with sort of an accounting business administration yeah. background yeah. and ended up with a job at Harvard University um, as director of accounting operations. And then I retired yeah. 10 years ago and was looking for something to do. And I saw a little blurb actually in the Southboro Senior Center <laughs> newsletter about, do you want to be a shine counselor? And I said, oh, that sounds interesting. And maybe I could use my talents, both talents. So went to six weeks of extensive training, took a certification exam. And actually, we go for monthly trainings oh, um, required. Wow. And every year, we have to take another exam and get recertified so it's very serious it really is i've been doing this about um nine years now yeah. um, you keep coming back because the money is so good <laughs> yeah. that's a lot yes. of dedication to by all the that way that's of. a good point yeah. i'm a volunteer <laughs> yeah. i am a volunteer there's actually 650 shine volunteers in massachusetts alone which that's is amazing. kind of interesting yeah. Yeah. Um, i'm in the metro west group and i um, have an office in south Borough senior center They've seen my, my worth, and they've mm -hmm. given me a nice space there, and they've welcomed me, all the staff has welcomed me there, which mm -hmm. is really, really nice. That's um, great. So SHINE, what does that stand for? Mm -hmm. It's serving the health needs of, every, of everyone, but only with Medicare. So I deal with Medicare for 65 and olders, and I also have quite a few clients mm -hmm. that are under 65 and disabled that are on Medicare. Mm -hmm. And I do Medicare and Medicaid counseling. Here in the state of Massachusetts, it's MassHealth, Mass Health, right. which is a huge quagmire <laughs> of complicated right. programs. Mm -hmm. And so I screen people um, to see if they're eligible for anything that MassHealth can help them with, as well as helping them with their Medicare. And those are uh, the, Medi the Medicaid ones are uh, income qualified, right? The different levels. Of, Mass Health does of of income that you. you yes, get. that's true. But the ones that I do with well, are disabled. Okay. They've been deemed disabled yeah, by the Social Security Administration, okay. and after you're disabled for 24 months, you're automatically go on Medicare. So Medicare is the hook okay. that brings them mm -hmm. in my door. Into the door. Into my door. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So so. The, the, my trivia question, mm -hmm. right? So Medicare C, Medicare <laughs> Advantage, right? Could you t could you just go over just a, just kind of in, in in brief how a how Medicare A and B work? Sure. And therefore, what well, C? What is. you need? Why you need and, more than yeah, that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Medicare A yeah. is the hospital part, primarily hospital part, mm -hmm. and that that costs nothing. It's free. Mm -hmm. um, part B is what I call the doctor part where you go to the doctor's office and Medicare pays 80%, but you have to pay 20%. And that can amount to some significant mm -hmm. money. The Part B currently costs for the average Joe $135 a month. And that's a lot of times comes right out of your social security. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. So mm -hmm. you have to have A and B no matter what. No matter what. And, and, so when, and when people hear this term Medigap policies, mm -hmm. 
which I, I remember I always thought that Jitsi was simply called MedX policies, and mm -hmm. then I heard that was actually a brand uh -huh. or a exactly. kind of a Medigap yes. policy. What is a Medigap policy? So a Medigap policy is designed to cover all of the gaps that Medicare doesn't pay for. So some like these co -pays Right, so yeah. let's say you get hospitalized, there's a $1,300 deductible when you get hospitalized. When you go to the doctor's office, you have to pay 20%. So those are called gaps. So people deal with gaps in two different ways. One is with a Medigap policy or yeah. with what you just mentioned, the Advantage plans, which are Part C. The so-called Advantage plans. Yes. Right, because yes. people will often ask, we, we, even because they're on drug plans and there'll be a D plan, and people will say, so what, where did C go? Did yeah. Say, trust me, it, it exists. <laughs> it really yeah. exists, yeah. So um, when people come through the door, which by the way, when people come through the door, they're usually like, I consider myself reasonably intelligent, <laughs> but I don't <laughs> understand yeah, I this. At all. Yeah. I think we're in the, are we in this we're book? In we're that, in this yeah, book. Yeah, I could, yeah. if I had a dollar for everybody that yeah. said that to me, I'd be a rich woman. <laughs> yeah, you think you're really good, and then you look at this stuff, it's like, how does this go? So there's two options, really. You can go with the Medigap policy, which we discussed, and then you have yeah. to have that Part D drug plan, mm -hmm. if that's the side of the chart, I call it, right. that so you it's go a, on. So it's A and B, yep. but, you, but you pay for the extras with the right. Medigap. With, with a gap and, and, a, and a drug plan. And then you have a drug plan in addition to that, right? right? And you're actually paying for that drug right. plan. Yeah. The Advantage plans have drugs built into them. And the difference between the Medigap plan, where you can go see any doctor you want, yeah. the Part C Advantage plans are networks. And I what I do when people come in is find out what network their primary care physician is in mm -hmm. because I don't want to put them in an advantage plan their doctor doesn't take because mm -hmm. right. then they'll walk through the door <clears throat> with their card and they'll say, sorry, you can't come here. Mm -hmm. So the advantage so, plans... So if you're not in the... So I, I know that in kind of traditional health insurance, a lot of times there's a network but then if you're out of the network, you, like you pay extra. You can with, in, with some of the Advantage plans. They have some called PPOs, yeah. and those are pre preferred provider organizations. Those you can go out of network, but you will be paying more. I see. Um, the HMOs. See. But that's not automatically. No. Then. The HMOs, which are um, health management organizations, those are the ones that you have to stay within the network. And if you have, you're getting a referral to like a surgeon, that surgeon's in the network. The thing that's the advantage of the Advantage plans is that they have, they offer more than Medigaps. More, in, in more, than, more than traditional Medigaps. Yes. So I, was, mm -hmm. I was, think about the C's as being, they have to offer everything that Medicare A and B offer. Right. But they can, and, offer, but they can offer more. Right, most of them have, um, vision pieces, mm -hmm. uh, hearing pieces, some of them are dental pieces. So what I didn't mention is with the Advantage plans, there's mm -hmm. co-pays with everything you do. Mm -hmm. And so what I tell people normally when they come in is assess your health. If you're a young, healthy mm -hmm. senior, the Advantage plans are great. They're less expensive. And um, if you're not going to the doctor very often, the co-pays don't add up. But if you're a, um, a, a senior with a lot of underlying health is issues like diabetes, COPD, heart issues, and you see multiple specialists, the Medigap oh. plans are usually the better option. Mm -hmm. I see. And I then see. some Do people start in? on mm -hmm. one side, uh -huh. and yeah. then as they age, they go to the other side. That was what I was just going to ask you. So how, how often should people be reevaluating these? Every year? Yearly. Or? Really? I really think, especially... Okay especially if you're in the Medigap plans, mm -hmm. because you have to have a standalone drug plan, the Part okay. D, and those change a lot. The, yeah, the, the prices change a lot. Yes, they, and, they they drop, and they drop okay. drugs that they cover. Right, the formula, the, the so-called formula formulary formularies. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that in, in, uh, I try to, ur to urge seniors to think about that. When you're shopping your, mm -hmm. for your drug plan, don't think which one's the cheapest. Think which ones have my drugs? Right, right. Because right. without your drugs, they, what's right. the use of the plan? Right. You that, know, it's like that that's why point. I go to someone like hers because yeah. she's going to look at all these variables that you don't think of. Right. right. You know, or you might not necessarily consider. And so Medicare starts at sixty-five. Is that right? When you yes. not being disabled, but under yes. normal. So when should somebody start 
thinking about this? I usually say, um, come in a, about a year ahead of time. Okay. Um, that's only if you're not working. Mm -hmm. If okay. you're working and have active employee health coverage, mm -hmm. you do not have to take Medicare when you turn 65. Okay. But if you're not, you, you have to take it in, and there's penalties involved. If right. People get nervous, they come in. But I say come in for a year ahead, do a Medicare 101 with me, mm -hmm. and get start thinking about what you want to do. I never ask anybody new to think right there on the spot what they want to do. They right. really need to go home and kind of think about their risk tolerance, think about mm -hmm. their health issues. But one of the things I wanted to say, sort of a bragging thing, yeah. is that... Um, Metro West Group last year, during yeah. an open enrollment, we saved our clients over $2 million. Wow. And then the That's year before, when we were able to track the whole year, yeah. we saved our clients over $7 million. That's a lot. By helping them pick the plans right. that suit them but are no, not over cost. Mm -hmm. That's an incredible number. Yeah. That's a, and and, and you, you get to that interesting point, too, which is it can, your plan may change every year not only to, based on what what the what the what the what they're offering but also based on you yes right right Cause yes. so as you say you're, you're looking at a and what your risk tolerance is yes. we so yeah. often say my, my friends Frank and Mary you know the, the goal of life you get mm -hmm. to our age is no longer fame and fortune is to get a good night's sleep so, <laughs> you know fame and fortune speak for yourself you know, we're, we're, we're just past that you know you just don't want to be waking up in the middle of the night saying oh my god what if this happens yeah. so it, and, and the gift of this, the gift of just what young people always have to worry about or used to have mm -hmm. to worry about pre-existing conditions, blah, 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 that's all past. Mm -hmm. So you can just say to yourself, geez, you know, last year I was feeling good, but something happened. Yeah. Or, yeah. or I'm anticipating yeah. needing an operation next year. So what, what, is my, what do right. I want to be in right. next year? Right. right. That's, an, that's a wonderful thing. It's interesting. Um, a statistic that's, that's revealing is over 10,000 baby boomers are turning 65 every day. Every day, yes. Now that's pretty amazing. Yeah. And they get the Medicare and You book, mm -hmm. which is about this thick. Yeah, yeah. Nobody ever reads right. it. Right, never. And they, written by and a they, right. Then they oh. Oh. oh, cruel. How cruel. I, I, I tell my client, I said, that's the trouble with being a lawyer. Yeah, is people know. read legal documents, and they then, think it's in English. Yeah, they do. <laughs> right? <laughs> and then they, well, what? I just read it. But it's, what? No I don't idea know what, it what it means. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. So, yeah, there. And, or the government thinks you can go, there's a website, mm -hmm. medicare.gov. They right. think you can go there and, and solve your and you issues. Just, yeah. figure it out. And you can, you can use the site, but if you can't interpret yeah. what you're looking at, right. it's, it's not well, easy. Or you, you, just, just things you don't know. Yes. And you, uh, that you need somebody to question, like you will, and say, well, have you thought about this? Or are you doing that? And they'll say, I hadn't, but I should. Right. I, just one thing, I was at Human Resources for a long time before this. And I know as you approach 65 nowadays, I mean, there's potential for people to get laid off, companies going out of business, right. their health plans can change, will change every year. So I always think it's wise, if you're 64 or so, to be, at least know what Medicare, even if you're currently employed, you don't know right. what's gonna happen exactly. in a year. And it's always good to get a little advanced, you know, information about what, if you financially, what's gonna cost me if this should disappear and it could disappear quickly on you. So I'm curious, who 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 are the pe other people like you? So you're in, it's a Metro West group. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So do you kind of like just get, you have like meetings of of the folks that are just in like in these in these surrounding yes. communities? Yes. Who typically does? Who who else is there? Who does this? Some are retired lawyers. Yeah. Some are retired accountants. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, some are retired nurses. Um, it's all it's all over the gamut. It really is. Um, but it's a whole. But typically, as you, as you, as you're saying it, you know, it's it's really a set of specialists, right? Yeah. Right. Who right. are now who really liked what they did, right? And now really kind of want to be doing. And right. it must be interesting for each of you because you're kind of bouncing off ideas with with some of these other folks, right? Yeah. One of one of the things that saves me is that my boss is the best one in the state. <laughs> she, Ka Kathy Warhart, she yeah. she actually writes the training materials for wow. all of the Shine counselors <clears throat> in the state. And if I get stuck, she's only a phone call away. Right. So right. she's 
She's been great. But she, can I tell you a quick little story? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not about money that I saved somebody on Medicare, but they came to see me about a Medicare issue. Yeah. And I always screen people. And the woman said, oh, I don't collect Social Security. And I said, why is that? And she said, well, I never worked enough quarters. And she and her husband said they went to Social Security when, she tur when he turned 65 and she was 62. Well, at that time, she would have had to collect on her own record, yeah. but she hadn't worked enough quarters. What the, what the Social Security agent failed to tell her was that when she got to be full retirement age, she could collect half of his. So 10 years later, they show up in my office, oh my and God. she has not been collecting since she was 65. So I said, you better get down to Social Security <laughs> office yeah. and get that straightened out mm -hmm. and get signed up. And I figured going forward, she'd be fine. Well, next year they came to see me, and they had gotten a check for $68,000. <laughs> they for, actually paid her They right actually paid her later. because they found the notes of the f person they talked to, and, yeah. and they proved that the federal, that federal agent had not, not told her that, that, when, she, that this was available uh, to her when she turned story. when she turned yeah. full retirement age. Yeah. So she got restitution plus wow. interest. Wow. So in addition to your high pay, <laughs> you, you get a percentage. Yeah, you, you I terrific. get really this, nice thank you notes. Yeah. I'm not a, allowed you, to take any. <laughs> <laughs> These are really incredibly dedicated people to go yeah. through the training and to, to do on this to work on this very complicated and su super important. Uh, piece that people really need to know. So and, and so I suppose really everybody and, should. Go. So I suppose even though that like the sign up period for Medicare is in that's 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 like in in uh, October. That's or something? the open enrollment. The open enrollment mm -hmm. when you can change. Okay. Yes, is October fifteenth yeah. through December seventh. Yeah. And mm -hmm. during that time, I'm in. Four You're, days a week, right. yeah. you know, eight hours straight or something yeah. like that. But, but if I'm a senior and I'm and I am and I'm and I tend to lose sleep because I'm a senior, right? I should really be talking to you now so that I get the 101. Yes, right, right? absolutely. Because, because I'm one of those people that just didn't figure it out and I just went on. I just wanted A and B, you know, and I got a Medigap and that's kind of what I'm doing. But but if I'm thinking about what these other options really are, I should be talking to you now. Oh, come see me anytime. So, I mean, there are people that I can help change. Mm -hmm. Outside of open enrollment, there's yeah. some new bells and whistles that mm -hmm. we can use that can change people. Or if somebody's in a drug plan and they yeah. find out that their plan's not covering their drug anymore, mm -hmm. definitely need to see a shine counselor and we can help. So they call the senior center for an yes. interview and yeah. ask you and yeah. set you okay. Do you yeah. know that number off the top here? I do not. No, okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll, no, we'll, have, no, we'll, no, we'll get that though. We'll okay. have that as a yes, banner. We will. Okay. Right, because these okay. folks are great at, yes. at, the, at the station here, right? So, so we'll one number that, that I do have though is 1 yeah. 800 age info. Mm -hmm. and you A G E I N F O. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you can press 3 or five if you yeah. have a cell phone, yeah. and they will actually connect you with somebody in the Metro West area. Oh, good. And they can tell you, That's you know, great. what, what sh um, mm -hmm. shine counselors are available. You don't yes. have to stay within your town, yeah. um, although I think I do a pretty good job uh, for yeah. South Brown. <laughs> I've heard nothing but good things. <laughs> this is <laughs> great. It's been this good. is yeah, great. Yeah, it's been. Thank, Thank you, you so yeah. much. Oh, we it was really a good. pleasure. We yeah. really appreciate I think it's yeah. really helpful for a lot of people. Yes. Yet again, Doug's pulled in some great <laughs> folks that you needed to know. Uh, thanks again for watching, and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next yeah. installment of Frank and Mary here in South Brook. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah.